Today I'm going to show you one of the benefits of growing true aeroponics. Air atomized aeroponics will give you unbelievable growth speed, precision, and control. On the left is immediately after she was removed from soil. The right, her root zone after she was rinsed off. Because this was my first time setting up and testing the system, major issues were discovered and had to be overcome. Unfortunately, I had to keep this seedling under a mason jar with a damp paper towel just to keep it alive. Not to mention things like this. Day two. Plant is still hanging in there, even with all the problems that we've had with the compressor, meltdown of the relay, the bad motor, the nozzle problems. It's still hanging in there. Death and failure seemed inevitable. Once the nozzle was replaced, it started to turn around. On the left, day four of recovery, versus day one harvested. As you can see, there was significant damage that took place. But since this was only a test run to help me dial in the system, I kept pressing forward. A major difference between HPA and air atomizing aeroponics is the amount of oxygen delivered to the root zone. With every feed cycle, air atomizing aeroponics injects the root chamber with fresh oxygen. As each day passed, there was significant improvement. The new root growth was undeniable. Now the next challenge was overcoming the silent compressor, which was running with just one motor. As if that wasn't bad enough, the eBay seller sent me a broken replacement unit. This really limited my ability to dial in the feed cycles. I had to calculate the timing based on the capacity of the tank and the feed duration. Basically budgeting instead of feeding in abundance. Between day eight recovery and day 14, there was a dramatic difference. It seems like I'm finally moving from recovery to the growth phase. The problem that still remains is I'm without a compressor motor, thus limiting my feed cycles. True aeroponics is definitely the best growing method. The nutrient delivery combined with the rich oxygen environment cannot be achieved with any other hydroponics method. Had this plant been an HPA, it would not have survived. Here's a closer look at the environment that air atomizing aeroponics provides. I'm glad to be able to report day 17 of recovery. I received my new compressor motor from Amazon. I got it installed and operational on day 18. I'm beginning to alter the feed cycles and monitoring how the plant is responding to the changes I'm making. Here's a side by side by side. Day one, freshly removed from soil. Day 14, recovery. The roots indicating a bit of nutrient burn. I ended up resetting the reservoir and altering the feed cycle. Due to the amount of damage that this plant had endured, the second day after I make changes seems to give me the best insight as to what works. Day 19, feed roots everywhere. Now the fun part begins, adjusting feed cycles, nutrient ratios, water per hour, light intensity. From this stage on, I'm looking forward to growing and not chasing down issues. Air atomizing aeroponics is like having a Formula One car. The precision of every input is immediately reflected in the results. I can clearly see the advantages over all other hydroponic growing methods. Sorry to say, even HPA would run a distant second to the system.